hello everyone welcome to Admister studios this is the second part of the video now in this we are going to create two things we are going to do two things first is to create routes and create navigation now at this point of time I would like you to understand the website we have for all the references that we need so on this new angular.dev website we are going to visit this routing section and this is how it looks like we got an overview and common routing task so we'll use the guidance from here so that you can refer to it later on if you want to it's very simple and straightforward okay so let's do this uh, here is our website now in the app component currently it shows all the components stacked upon each other we have footer testimonial but now we want to change something we want these sections to be available only and only when we want to look at I think I missed to add about section okay no problem we'll have this fixed okay so now the most important thing that we need to look at is is here app roots and config if you look at the config we got a provider we got roots here already included so this statement is important and roots from where is it taking the roots It's taking roots from app dot roots here so here in this array we are going to provide all the roots but in order to provide the roots I need to import all the components here so let's do this we'll go to okay I can do like this import and I can import all the component for example about component okay otherwise I can go to app and I can copy everything from here these are the components which we have I can go here and copy this import statements so we need header we need about component client pricing everything we actually don't need navigation but let it be here and I also don't need mm, the footer component because this is going to stay there so now what is the next step let's go to the documentation and look at it so generating a routing app is nothing new the way we generated the app the command is the same ng new and the app name here the app name is selected as routing app for us it was website now I, we need at least two components for routing to work okay and we will define one space so here we have created they have created two components first component second component and imported these components to the roots so we have done this part already now we'll define the base root now the base root how do we define that there are three fundamental building blocks in the creating a root one is the config file the router file and application config the following is the default application config which we have so I think we don't have to make much changes now this comes the actual part we'll go here in this array we'll start specifying all the roots for example like this so we are adding two things path component in fact we can add one more called title so first let's do these two we need to have path we need to have component so from here we need comma we need path and we need component component okay let's specify the component uh, let me write about component and the path I need is the name of the component okay okay I need this to be about let's copy this one two three four five 
I am going to copy client component pricing testimonial gallery and services and of course header Let's change this to home. Okay, meanwhile, while we are doing this, let's serve our website. So we have the reference. And site would run here. Let's wait for it to roll. I hope you looked at the last video. I am trying to put my time and effort to help you or anyone who is interested in learning angular i'm not an expert let me tell you clearly it's just that i try to figure out things and i try to share it with all of us and in this process i try to make it easy for me to learn and reference back to the same videos again when i need this information so mutually when we are discussing things we are learning from each other so don't consider me as an expert as yet I'm an expert in making, making, making. Okay. Uh, I should have done this before we started this, but okay. Anyways, not much of a time is required. Let's do this. Reload. Okay. We got home. We got about section. We got gallery services. Let's do this here. Uh, Clients Pricing Testimonials uh, Pricing is done Any Services and Gallery Gallery and services. So we are done here. And now, how to make it work? How to make it look? So now we'll go to app uh, app component dot html. We can remove all these things. Instead, I will put router outlet. So, this is where we want our, our our components to show. Now let's go to the URLs, the link. So link are there in the navigation component. We'll go to navigation component. And here, uh, let's go. So instead of href, we want to specify router link. Counter link okay let's look at the material ones I uh, will go here we have router link and the component so I don't think they are need a bracket okay let's go to so we don't need brackets router link directly we can have header so let's change control shift L so which area right to link and okay we're good let's save this and see uh, let's look at our page 
let's reload okay it does not show anything because we have not specified the default but let's see if I look at if I click nothing is working because these are no longer href so how to make it work okay let's go back to the documentation as you see we have router link active also and there is aria okay let's copy it as it is as of now let's see if it is going to make a difference Now let's look at app components. We have got router outlet. Common mode router outlet is already there, so we can use this. But do we have the other modules? Don't have router link and router active link. So let's add these two as well. Okay, we'll have to import. okay we can do it like this let's save this and we'll head back to our website okay let's look at the error in case there is some error uh, no there is no error which okay cannot read properties of undefined reading substring angular Okay, this is by default we can ignore this okay let's try it like this Boom. about Okay, about is visible. Gallery. Gallery is visible. Services. Yes. Testimonials. This is also working. clients pricing okay things are working if I click on home somehow when I click on home uh, this thing is not working let's see when I type home it shows blank okay so let's go back to the roots okay I'm not sure if this is going to make a difference I type home now okay that was because of the uh -uh. and this capital H so no problem we we'll go back and we'll specify one more component and this sorry what I just did okay Uh, instead of this I'll say slash so slash also should hit her to one component okay 
we need to make this work okay let's do it change this uh, here let's add control shift L So let's give this titles you can change a different title as well but I think this is more relevant services Okay, let's see if the title is changing. Administrator Studio is about. Okay, let's change it to gallery. Yep, yeah, we can see the change. It's becoming to let's change it to ADS. Yes, ADS gallery looks good to me but we need to make this work hmm mm, okay this needs to be clickable somehow it's not working the way I want this to work let's explore the code and see if we can find something so now our root links are here okay we have change this root link it's in capital oh we need the router modules to be visible to the nav component module also so let's go to here let's import these things where is the navigation component okay we can pretty much do it in one row but let's leave it like this Let's copy this here, comma. I need to copy these two. It's done. Let's see if it is changing anything. Yeah. Now we have our links working. So home is still not working. Why is that? Okay, it shows slash header. Uh, but let's see we have a path for header I don't think we have we have for home okay let's change this to home yes so everything is working now at times we need sometimes like there is no page available so we need a 404 page so let's create one I have this template open up here so let's copy uh, something from here let's create a new component so not found component so ng create sorry generate component not found we could have renamed named it 404 but I think note found is more relevant and let's go back to our okay I missed to create it under components it probably would create it here I have to, have to manually move let's go to source code we got app we have not found let's move not found to components 
now back to the router sorry back to the editor we have app components not found let's go to the not found html let's copy it more time mm, let's make ids 404 We only want to show four zero four. Nothing here. Try our home page and let's make this a RL. I can copy this. Router link home active active current link. Okay, now let's close the divs. Section so section is closed. This is done. I think should not be a problem. But again, it will not understand this link. So I need to import the same set of components which I imported here. So I can actually copy from here. Let's copy it again. Go to not found component.ts. Copy the components from here, comma, router link active, and done. So let's try a URL which does not exist. Maybe help. Oh, we've missed to add the root. We we'll have to add the default root. Go to roots and let's add one more. Comma. Let's copy this. Not found and in this case the path would be star star this would be the last component which would be matched we'll get not found component and it has also imported this save this let's try one more time nothing here try our home page okay i was expecting it to show 404. Oh, 404 is there. Let's see if we have something in our style sheets that we can use readily. We in assets, go to CSS and styles. We have the search for big, big, big. Big test, big test, big, 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 big. Don't have anything big. Want any weight numeric colors? Okay, no problem. Let's add something. let me add something here just next to wrapper so we'll see we'll say dot pick text okay we want font size to be 300 px okay and let's change this to class 
big text I think this should work okay let's change the font color as well font okay not color colors I think style requires recompilation so I'm going to stop this and let it generate once again okay I'm not good at this maybe so I'll just change it to this class Nevertheless, you got the idea, right? Mm. So, why am I using H3? Let's make it H1. I think this would help. Oh, is good. No problem. Let's do this. So we have a basic layout. We got all the services working, all the sections working, and we have everything visible at one place. But so far so good. I think next we are going to do is next in the next video we'll add a blog post. It's quite common that you have a profile website and you want to keep a blog alongside. You can actually keep a separate dedicated blog with a WordPress or something. But if you want to keep it simple, we'll add a simple blog to this like we did in the last project. We're going to use the same technique and do it. And at the same time, we want this text and most importantly, this text to be configurable. All these options, these should be configurable from the back end rather than re hard coding and making changes so this is something which we will be focusing on and there is a very good website called colors.co it helps you generate the color palettes so we can generate these color palettes and we will use and a little bit colorize this website so thank you for joining for this video session tune in for the next video wherein we'll have more additions to this same uh, web layout and we'll prepare this application step by step gradually. Thank you.